Hello, and welcome back to Reactions by Jeff. Today I'm going to be looking at Lara Fabian's We Are the Flyers, an acoustic version from 2017 at a German radio station. Um, I'm, I'm looking a little bit more at uh, some of her more recent stuff. I mean, we've, we've spent a lot of time on this channel looking at uh, Laura with Love and even up to about, well, you know, 2014. Um, this is a little later, um, and so... Um, I'm going to get to all of the things that you guys suggested over the past several months. I'm just getting back into the swing of things after being off of the, the channel for a little bit. And so with that, uh, we're going to get started. Fly before you can Make sure you know how to land Or somebody's going to hurt Gravity is a fine alone word and it's always gonna win There's gonna come a time You're gonna need a safe, safe place to fall Before you say goodbye You better make sure you One thing I like, um, and I've always known this, and we've known this about Laura, is that she is really good at using her body, her face, all of all of all of the components of her body to do stuff. And this is a it it seems like it's a happy song because if if we're we're watching her body language, it's all upbeat. It's all there's a lot of smiles. Uh, her face is not overly dramatic in that regard and and I'm really enjoying this because she's she's using her hands and and again this is something that a lot of singers including myself when I'm at karaoke I stand still I have an old Facebook Facebook video of me in Florida singing a song and I'm like cement and those who've watched my earlier videos know that that happens um and so it's fun to watch her because one of the things that she really does know how to do is she knows how to use her body and all of all of the muscles in her body to actually bring the voice forward and to bring the song forward. And she's she's very comfortable in her skin, um, even more so. I mean, if you look at Laura with Love, there's a lot of there's a lot of fight within her. There that there's no doubt about that. But there's a relaxed feel about this particular performance. That seems to be like in Laura with Love. There's a lot more proof that needs to happen. She's she's now 30 years or 25 years into the business, and she doesn't need to prove anything. She can enjoy herself. She can she can just have fun. And and this is something that I'm noticing with this performance here is that she's having fun and she's enjoying this process. And so I'm going to take it back a couple of. Um, a couple of seconds. And again, always, this is your community too. I, I talk a lot. Um, but also put a whole bunch of stuff in the comments because you guys know a little bit more about each of these performances than I do. I'm not from Germany, so I didn't, I haven't seen, I wasn't there for this one. Um, but again, you know, I mean, this is your community. This is your space. And so I'm going to back it up a couple of seconds and we'll continue. Before you say goodbye, you better make sure you said it all So come and hold me tight And last chance, let's dance on the wire Don't worry, cause tonight Tonight, we are the flyers Never lie unless you can Remember words come back again Just like feathers in the wind They can rise and fall and spin Sometimes they will lock you in Once upon a time, um, I went to a Celine Dion concert and I'm, this isn't a comparison to to Lara here, but um, one of the things I notice about singers who come from other languages is that their diction is better than American English or or even British English. One of the things that I notice is that um, when 
and and this is true for at least when I saw Celine Dion, she was in concert with Michael Bolton and she outperformed Michael Bolton on diction. She was able to enunciate the words better than Michael Bolton can. Now, I don't know if that's because when we speak in our native languages, we take the pronunciation for granted, but there's a crispness to her diction here that is amazing. And again, it's her training. She's been trained to do this, but I always appreciate when people who come from other languages really do well at enunciating words or making the attempt to do so. Because again, it's, it's, it's part of the performance and it, it really helps sell the performance when all the words come out crystal clear as well as the tones. So I'm going to go back a little bit and we'll continue on. Just like feathers in the wind, they can rise and fall and spin. Sometimes they will lock you in. There's gonna come a time you're gonna need a safe, safe place to fall. Before you say goodbye, bye. you better make sure you ever said it all. So come and hold me tight. Last chance, let's dance on the wire. So come and hold me tight Last chance, let's dance on the wire We are the flyers Don't worry, cause tonight Tomorrow the night We are the flyers So come and hold me tight Last chance, let's dance on the wire So I'm, I really love how she uses her body and how she's really good at using the mic also. Again, she's been doing this for decades. So again, this isn't her first radio performance. This isn't the first um, performance in this type of environment or using a microphone of this type. And, and not that I know anything about using microphones, but her mic technique has always been great for me. I mean, as a karaoke person, obviously... You know, you learn a little bit just by the fact that, you know, just from accident, you learn stuff. Um, and, you know, but one of the great things she does is she knows when to pull back and she knows when to go forward. Um, and she was very good at, at testing, you know, how how soft she can go and how loud she can go. And and again, um, I'm just going to leave this for you guys here. I mean, this this was a really great performance. One of the things I loved about this performance was, you know, if we look at Jusui Malata or You're Not From Here or or some of the other songs that she does, they're they're very pyrotechnic in 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 the fact that there's a there's there's a lot of like heavy duty technique going on in those songs where she's holding notes for like, you know, seventeen to nineteen to twenty seconds and she's going up and popping in and out of different registers all the play all, all over the place. And here this song, the the simplicity of its range is amazing. If Taylor Swift could do this, she'd have eight hundred million dollars, not just three hundred million dollars. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But the thing is, is the song doesn't necessarily do the same big ranges, and but it still has the same intensity and the same same connection. We're still drawn in to the song, and that's that's the thing that makes her that that's the, that's the thing that makes her awesome is that. 
No matter what the song is, she's able to find the core of its message and bring us in. And I really appreciate that because it's something that when I was learning how to sing back in choir, we weren't really taught how to do that. We were just like, okay, let's sing this section, make this loud, go loud, go soft, go loud, go soft. Now, I mean, literally be soft and you're going to hold this note, no vibrato for like 47 seconds. Those were the only, we weren't really taught about taking the phrases apart, taking this whole concept apart. Um, and um, I don't know the background of this particular song, so if somebody can fill me in. Um, I don't, I, it, I don't know if it's hers or not, but understanding those lyric things, why you're actually getting louder, why you're getting softer, how do you, why, why wouldn't we pop on this particular note here? Um, she's, she's really good at that. And again, that comes from all the years from age eight, all the way until age 47, all of that, all of that time that, that she was learning how to do all the things with her voice and learning how to enjoy art of the song, as well as the science and the, and the technique. So I've talked a lot again with all of my uh, with all of my videos of late, I really want people to start putting timestamps and start talking about different sections of songs because there are sections in the song where she does certain things and I'm going to miss it. Um, I mean, I'm only human. If I could catch every single thing in every single performance, then these things would be like three hours long. Um, but this is where you guys come in and you can create that community in the in the comments section. And that's what I'm looking for is you guys to build that community and come together and share the information and share your favorite performances, share your favorite, sh save your favorite points of view. This was sort of my reintroduction back into making reaction videos. And so I have a list sitting in my um, I have a list sitting in my Word document somewhere that actually have a list of things that I, ha I I should be looking at because I did go through and start finding other reactions. But this one here, I wanted to just have a, 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 a reintroduction to making reaction videos. I took the last couple months off, so um, please leave your comments below and let me know what you think. If there are other acoustic versions that you want to see, other really stripped down versions that you want to see, let me know and put them in the comments and I'll add that to the list. And uh, with that, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And um, as always, be safe.